It's time for some Dean Koontz. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach with Zach's Books, and today I've got for you a day in the life reading vlog of my first ever Dean Koontz book. But first, I've got a message from our sponsor, GlassesUSA.com. By cutting out the middleman, GlassesUSA.com offers prescription glasses and sunglasses at up to 70% off retail prices. You can shop for all your eyewear needs online at affordable prices without leaving your home. GlassesUSA.com offers over 9,000 styles of glasses and sunglasses of in-house brands like Muse, which is a couple that I have, which I'm going to show you. They also have got luxury brands like Ray-Ban, Gucci, Oakley. Uh, I got a pair of sunglasses by Audido, I think is how you pronounce it. It's another in-house brand. Uh, also a really nice pair. I really like them, and I will be showing you those in, in a minute here. They also can be ordered with any prescription that you've got. You just got to send it in to them. It's real easy, and they can send you the pair of glasses with your prescriptions already in them. No need to go to the eye doctor and get them. None of that stuff. Prices start at just $30, which is also a really good price for some from prescription glasses. I remember when I was younger going in there, cost a lot of money to get some glasses and glassesusa.com has made that pretty cheap if you ask me and that's pretty affordable glasses if I say so myself. Uh, it's also risk-free shopping uh, which means you can get free shipping and free returns. Um, no hassle of returning them if you don't like them or don't you know if it doesn't work. They also have got a 100% money back guarantee so it's a brand you can trust right there. GlassesUSA.com also offers blue light glasses. If you don't know what that is, blue light glasses are ideal for protecting your eyes at home, for work outside. They also include glare prevention and UV block. Pretty much what that is, is it's going to help a lot of people who work from home, looking at screens all day from a computer, a phone, a laptop, whatever it is, it actually is going to prevent any damage to the eyes because it's got glare protection in them. And it's a really cool thing. Yeah, GlassesUSA.com has got blue light glasses, which is really cool. GlassesUSA.com even has a virtual try-on tool on the website which really helps you find the right pair. I used it to find mine and it was really helpful. All you need to do is upload a picture and then find the frames you like the best. And in a few moments I will be showing you the three pairs of glasses that I picked out using the virtual try-on tool, which are really cool in my opinion. And again, we will have those linked down below for you guys. Alright, now it's time for me to show you the glasses I have. So the first pair that I currently have got on is the Muse Elliott in Gunmetal. Um, I really like these glasses. I The last pair I got, I, ne I didn't really have like the open on the bottom. It was all just kind of squared away, so everything was like kind of like lensed. And now that I have this open concept down below, it actually like makes my vision lower, like actually feel a little better. And... I think it's got a bit more of a modern look. Uh, I used to have a pair that was like this, but it was rectangular and very thin, so a lot more was blurred out. With these being a little bigger, it makes my vision feel a lot better too. So, first one here is Muse Elliot. Alright, the next pair I have here is another one for Muse, and it is called Muse Web in the black blue. Uh, and as you can probably see from there, it has got this really cool electric blue kind of look into it and I really like that. It's also black on the outside. Uh, I had a pair of black ones. I don't know what happened to them, but that's a different story. But these glasses are really cool. They're really thick. Um, they kind of remind me of the pair I have now, but just a little bit tighter, which is honestly fine with me because I don't like loose glasses. So these feel perfect for me. I really do enjoy these glasses and I can see, and that's always a positive. All right. And the last pair that I got was this pair of sunglasses, which is Audito Magnus in silver. Uh, again, I don't know if I'm saying Audito correctly, um, but it's the, I, every glasses wearer that has always had the issue with the sun, because obviously the sun exists, it's out there, duh. And you, having prescription sunglasses is a very big thing to have, and I really like the fact that I have got a pair. Um, I like this style. Uh, I was kind of questioning how it was going to look on me, but then when I did the try-on thing, it I actually really liked it, and I said, these are the ones I'm going to get. And again, it's a, just a really big plus if you got it, you know, you're a glasses wearer and you just need to have sunglasses, because 
GlassesUSA.com will definitely give you the right pair that you need in this case, and I really like these. All right, guys, and those are the three glasses that I picked out. Uh, again, we will have those linked down below, as well as the virtual try-on as well. We will also have a link down below where if you click on it, it will be on the top of the description box. If you click on it, your first purchase of your glasses from GlassesUSA.com will be 65% off. That is correct. Your first pair that you would order from GlassesUSA.com, if you click the link down below, will be 65% off. So what's not to like about that, especially on a pair of glasses that are prescriptioned? Come on. Uh, but again, I want to thank GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much, and uh, let's hop back into uh, the video. All right, guys, we are now having breakfast. Um, I just uh, woke up, pretty much. I just finished We Need to Do Something by Max Booth the uh, Third. This is about, well, I mean, the back says it all. A family's on the verge of self-destruction, finds themselves isolated in their bathroom during a tornado warning. Overall, I mean, in my opinion, the book was very odd. Um, I enjoyed the story, and the more I kind of pondered it and thought about it, I would say it's a it's a four star. I originally was telling Danielle when I finished it like three three and a half, but the more I think about it, I think it's a four star. It's very odd and it's very out there. Like it it takes weird turns that you really didn't expect, but it kind of worked. But uh, yes, I would say we need to do something by Max Booth the third. It's a nice short little novella, four star read. So. Decent book. I'd take a look at it. Uh, obviously, we have got some cinnamon rolls here. And the next book that I'm going to be starting today is my first Dean Koontz book. And I elected to go with Phantoms just because, like I said, a lot of people have said this is comparable to it. And I'm very excited to try and get to that. So, yeah. It's, uh, like I said, it's about 7 in the morning. We got some breakfast. We got the bears later today. Got some stuff going on. Very exciting stuff on this football Sunday. Uh, I missed last week's game mostly, but ended up losing anyway. But uh, yeah, optimistic for today's game. Again, we're going to be reading some Phantoms. Might do some of my writing today. And uh, yeah, we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Excited to watch the Bears in my new spectacles. We'll catch up with you guys in a minute. All right, guys, I'm on chapter 17 of Phantoms. So far, I don't hate it. It's been an entertaining story. I'm 144 pages in, about a third of the way through it. Um, it's been pretty entertaining. Uh, I will say it's... I don't know. It, it, I'm getting the references with the whole, like, it creature thing. Uh, right now, one of the... I think there's still... I think there's four main people that we've been following so far and one of them just got its face eaten off by like a moth creature um which i guess is the creature that is kind of like pennywise in a sense i think um but uh yeah so far it hasn't been that bad and it's been very fun um reading the book with the, the new spectacles on it feels really cool and i will say that i'm not gonna dnf this i think it's been better than ghost story was but Again, I gotta give Ghost Story another chance eventually, but right now Phantom's been very good. Um, it's about 10 o'clock, we gotta take a little pause so we can get ourselves prepared and ready for the Bears game. I gotta make sure my fantasy team is set and ready to kick some butt. We're going to the bookstore later. Yes, we also gotta get a, um, a uh, sell back uh, thing set up because we got a couple books that we wanna sell back to them. And, uh, see what we can get that's new over there we haven't been to the half price books in a little while so gonna go there uh after the bears game but uh yes we're going to continue this at some point um after the bears game uh as well so very exciting times we're gonna start getting set up for the bears and we'll see you at uh, game time all right so the bears are currently up seven nothing and two offsetting penalties just brought back like a giant game we just had so that's always fun and exciting 
Um, but yeah, uh, I got Allen Robinson. He scored a touchdown, so that's great. Uh, so I got to part two, which is called Phantoms. Ooh, Justin Fields is... But yeah, I got to part two, which is just called Phantoms, um, which obviously is the name of the book. And... I mean, it's been all right. There's a random chapter I didn't really think was necessary, um, but it's whatever. Uh, but yeah, no, we got the get, we got the Bears on now. I'm very excited. Um, Bengals are one and zero, so it's not going to be an easy win, but we'll see what happens. So we'll uh, get with the game, and then we'll uh, go shopping. So we'll see you guys in a minute. All right, guys. The Bears game is over. We narrowly beat the Bengals 20 to 17, but luckily we did. So yay, thanks to three interceptions from the defense. And that was a cool thing to watch. But uh, we have got some stuff that we got to sell back to half price books now. So we're on our way to do that. And as you can see, I've got the sunglass spectacles on, which feel absolutely cool. I like, I, they kind of look like aviators to me, but whatever. So we got some HPB stuff to return, um, or well, sell back, and then we've got uh, some other stuff too. So very fun times. Uh, gonna get home, finish, uh, continue reading Phantoms, and we'll uh, go from there. So we'll see you guys at the store. All right, guys, we just got back from the bookstore. Uh, it actually started getting pretty cloudy outside, but we are uh, home now. Uh, we're gonna show you a book haul in a separate video, so stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, we're home now. I just got out of the shower and I'm uh, currently on page 271 in Phantoms. I'm getting closer and closer to the end. Um, so I need to do a little research because I need to figure out when he wrote this because there's like little like subtle references to like King books that I'm like getting. And I don't know if this is written before that or after some of those books, but I, I don't know. I'm just like getting like little little vibes of like some king writing in here um which is fine i actually am enjoying the story it's pretty intriguing and i want to know what this creature actually looks like that's hunting these people um but yeah no it's been a very intriguing story um there was another chapter that took place where you go to london again and it's it it, it makes the first one kind of make sense so now i don't really dislike that chapter but it's still been a very solid ride so far for my first Koontz book. Uh, and again, it's been a pretty solid day. We got um, the Ravens and Chiefs still to come here in a little bit. But uh, we'll uh, catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, we're a little bit later in the day now. It's still kind of cloudy. Sun kind of peaked out a little bit. Um, we're getting close to game time here with the Ravens and Chiefs. I've got three people playing in this game tonight. And I need to win in fantasy because <coughs> I lost last week, so. Um, but yeah, with the game coming up, I'm gonna end the video here. I've got about two hours left in Phantoms. Um, again, like I said, I'm really enjoying the book. It's pretty solid, actually, and I'm not disappointed so far. Um, again, I kind of get some King vibes. It's how he phrases a few things, but, but uh, yeah. We're gonna finish this book up, and what I'm gonna do is you'll see it in my um, September wrap-up video. Um, along with some other books I've gotten finished this month. Um, so that way, if you are intrigued with how I do like it, how it ends and everything like that, that'll be in the September wrap-up video um, before October hits. So um, we will have also the Glasses USA link down below. Please don't forget to check them out. Really cool glasses. Thank you guys for sponsoring this video. I'm really liking them. I like the sunglasses as well. Um, yeah. So otherwise, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Later.